Talk. Brother Hunchy, you solid, brother? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Remember I told you about two years ago, bro. You're Ricky up. You going to be that dude, huh? Yes, sir. Stay like solid, bro. Yes, sir. Eric DaCosta told y'all, have patience. The Godfather knows what he's doing. I'm putting hogs on the mind, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven. Costa pulls it off again. The man does it again, man. Justin Houston. I have so many videos I have done, seen so many comments. We need Justin Houston. We need Justin Houston. Forget this signing. Forget this signing. Forget that interest. We need Justin Houston. You gotta wait. You gotta have patience. Eric DeCosta has said that so many times. Patience. And what happens today? We get Justin Houston. The man. In front of reports, I seen my, my, my fam engraving. He always wanted to be a raven. He, he wanted to, I'll say, he want, He already knew he, that was the only destination he wanted to be. And I always found that interesting. One, when he was a free agent, you didn't hear him, his name, interest, really not any other team. So I, Probably told his agent, don't don't have don't don't other mother teams interested in me. I don't I don't care. I, I want to be a Raven and I will wait. I will take less money. I will wait to be a Raven. Remember back in the day, I remember seeing so many on NFL Network, ESPN, Fox Sports One. I can I can name them. A lot of them used to say nobody wants to play with Lamar. What free agent wants to come to Baltimore and play with Lamar? Stuff like that. Then you see a video. Not, well, I believe it was last year. That Justin Houston telling Lamar. Remember what I told you? you remember? About two years ago. He's going to be that dude. He's going to be special. Justin Houston wanted to play with Lamar. He wanted to play with Lamar in the Ravens organization. This is just the beginning of the chapter. A lot of players, I can think, Vontae Leach retired a Raven. And Quan Bowden retired a Raven. And I'm naming people that was not even drafted by the Ravens. And they retired a Raven. They spoke good. Steve Smith Sr. Um... Eric Weddle, Eric Weddle still to this day talks how good the Raven organization was to him and he preached it to other players. Tony Jefferson, he's now a 49er, but he also speaks good about the Ravens. And Justin Houston, to me, he proved it that he has his money. It gets to a certain point where a lot of these players, they they get the money and they like, okay, I got all the money for my family. We, we good for generations and generations and generations. I want to win. I want to ring. And the Ravens, they are built to get that ring. They're still very young. got to think about that man and that's what a lot of these players that's older a little bit but wise is thinking they got that money they want that ring it's like what Giannis said um in one of these press conferences and I've seen so many people put in the tweets and stuff you better enjoy it now that's your only one you're ever gonna get He's like, this might be my only one I ever get, but I got one. You know how many great Hall of Fame players don't have?
have just one. Freaking Chris Paul don't have just one. I can go with football. Dan Marino don't have one. Freaking oh, the, the Bills team that went back to back back in the day lost against the Cowgirls they don't have one. Players see that. I remember Darrell Rivas. He went to and he 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 said it. He had no shame about it. He went to the Patriots just to win one. And we know Darrell Rivas got a bank. I'm literally talking about a bank. I ain't talking about that bag. He got a bank. <laughs> but let's talk more about the Justin Houston thing. Eric DaCosta. Eric DaCosta had, when he become the general manager, he had, he had a plan and he's sticking with that plan. But Justin Houston, he's still doing a lot of good stats, doing a lot of good things. Last year, eight sacks. The year before that, 11 sacks. So Justin Houston Last year, eight sacks, I believe. The year before, 11 sacks. Raiders picked up Yannick Ngagwe. He Last year, he had a total of five sacks. Justin Houston beat him in that. Okay, Matthew Judon, last year. Six sacks. Beat him in that. Um, so Justin Houston right now, just from last year's stats, that's the winner. Okay, so let me pull up. Okay, so... Matthew Judon, cap hit uh, for the Patriots is going to be 6.3 mil. Sign the big contract. Average per year is 13.6 mil. And Nathan Gagwe, Raiders, 13 mil cap hit. 13 mil per year. So, Eric DaCosta looked at them and was like, okay, y'all can go. Didn't, it didn't work out, you know? So, Justin Houston signs, Tyrus Bowser, Pernell McPhee, we got Jalen Ferguson, we got the rookies, Odafi and Hayes, Dalen Hayes. All of those equals to 9.93 million Ravens cap hit. All those players? That's not even... And that's still more money left than one person cap hit. And Justin Houston still did better stats than both of those two players. Yes, he's older, but still, he still did better. And that's not even including, we don't even know what we have yet in the rookies. Something special is brewing in Baltimore. That's just, that's just ridiculous to me, yo. All those players, you still have you didn't hit the cap here yet of one player. That is... <laughs> what? That is just like so amazing to me. So all the people that was hating on Eric DaCosta saying he's doing a terrible... I remember seeing cause, oh, he is doing that terrible job. 
you should go back whatever video that was and delete that comment. Come on. Come on. Patience is a virtue. It's going to be a beautiful year. The Godfather is doing this thing. We don't even know if he's done yet. Because that Lamar sign is still coming.